Are you prepared to navigate today's bond markets for your clients? With decades of experience, MFS has helped advisors uncover fixed income investment opportunities through volatile markets. Learn more at MFS.com. Blog Talk Radio. Goldilocks Productions provides professional internet, TV, and radio shows in the spiritual and new age genre. This presentation of the Jimmy Mac Healing Show. Hey, everybody, good evening. It's Jimmy Mac coming to you live with the Jimmy Mac Healing Show. We're happy everybody is here. Uh, the weather's just kind of iffy, of course, still warm where we're at in the Tampa, St. Pete, Clearwater area of Florida. Had some nice rains earlier. And uh, so we always welcome that, although not what my mother calls the deluge that hit the Carolinas. So all y'all are in our thoughts and prayers. I have checked on a lot of my folks there, and they're at least uh, well and dry and uh, doing okay. So definitely thoughts and prayers are with everybody else that's going through that. We went through it last year, of course, with Irma. So that was rough. And uh, we're thankful, everybody that we know. Uh, and that deal is doing okay. So welcome to the show tonight. Of course, we always uh, want to give you uh, healings and readings and keep it mixed up. And just a couple quick announcements, and we'll be underway. And, uh, of course, the first one being we do have a new audio MP3. It's coming out very, very soon here. Gosh, it may be tomorrow. It's Wednesday. I've lost all track of time. And uh, it is called Body Scan Head to Toe. And so just like it sounds, it definitely uh, moves you from the top of your body all the way through to your tippy toes and uh, really some profound clearing statements that came through from spirit on that. And uh, it's really turned out to be a phenomenal audio MP3. So look for that if you're not already on our e-weekly newsletter. It's TGI Wednesday, we call it. Uh, please get on that. It's info at jimmymachealing.com. So send a little note, uh, or you can actually go to the website, of course, and look for free stuff. And uh, in that, you will sign up for My Liquid Fish Kit. And by doing so, you're going to get on the uh, little e-newsletter that comes out every Wednesday. So it's filled with all kinds of uh, affirmations and videos and comics and different things that would help you stay in tune and uh, keep you cleaned up, uh, at least energetically. So, and uh, I want to appreciate everybody. Thanks to everybody coming on the show tonight. Of course, you want to call in. Uh, the best way to reach us is 713-955-0594. You just press one to raise your hand. And Reverend Tiffany White Sage Woman will find you on the of course, on the uh, board there, <clears throat> we do take first come first serve callers, so uh, we never know. We take everybody at random. Uh, of course, Blog Talk's out of New York. Uh, she's out of uh, the Northeast as well, and here we are in Florida. So we have folks calling in from all over the world tonight, and that's always fun. So we never know what we're going to get, and uh, we take folks at random. And please keep your question to one topic. Um, gosh can be romance, can be career, you might have a health question, um, you know, keep in mind it's a cursory reading and just a brief piece so that uh, we can get to the other callers tonight as well. So instead of saying I want to know about my health uh, because I think my husband's leaving me because I may or may not go back to school because my son needs remedial reading math, you know, let's, let's pick one thing. <laughs> So there you go. That's pretty funny. Uh, anyway, so keep us posted. Uh, we always want to hear about your updates. We get emails every week even talking about this show. And also keep in mind, if we work on somebody's thyroid tonight or their low back or their money or finance or romance or whatever it may be, 
uh, just know that even if you hear the replay, that you can also pick up on the good stuff from that as well. So without further ado, I love my uh, co-host and co-guest tonight. Uh, she's on the last Tuesday of every month, and she is a trans medium and specializes, of course, not just in the card readings and really wild uh, readings with absolutely nothing other than looking at you or talking to you, but also communication with those in spirit. So that's always phenomenal. She might bring in your grandmother, grandfather, your favorite pet you had when you were a little kid. You never know what you're going to get, and I love that. So Reverend Debbie, welcome to the show. How are you? Should say unmuted and be going. <laughs> Hi, how are you, honey? Can you hear me? We might be having some full moon technical issues. You're unmuted. Are you there, love? Please you can hear me. You're on live. <laughs> That's funny. All right, we'll see what we can do here. Keep it stirred up. Hopefully she knows. And uh, she's calling back in. I see the call dropped. Yeah, we've had a lot of weather here, folks, of the thunderstorms and all that. You sprinkle in a uh, full moon and you're always in for trouble. So quite funny. So we'll get her back here in just a second. And I do find it's interesting always on the full moon energy. Lots of storms in the northeast as well, of course. And, uh, you know, so but it's just one of those things. I do find that during the full moon, even the police would tell you and the ER folks and everybody else, gosh, a lot more people uh, having problems going to the pokey, going to the ER. There's always something going on. So uh, just incredible uh, that uh, it always happens on a full moon. So, hey, Reverend Debbie, are you there? Can you hear me now? I can always hear you. Can you hear me? <laughs> I can now. How are you, love? Good. The full moon goddess is back. <laughs> I love it. The full moon goddess. What a great way of putting it. That's awesome. Yeah, it's been cray-cray, hasn't it? Of course. It's supposed to be. With Wonderful the full moon, right? Yeah. Gosh. <clears throat> Honey, uh, I've... I've course told folks about you and you're on the last Tuesday of every month which we love 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 tell everybody how to get a hold of you honey they're going to want to go deeper after tonight uh, or if they hear this replay they may want to get a private reading of course but tell everybody your phone number and email address and maybe the website for church and whatnot okay spiritualdeb at gmail.com and my number is 727 727- Four three 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 eight nine six. Love it. Excellent. So that's the best way to get a hold of her. So we're going to grab some callers and see what comes through from Spirit. Three one two is our first caller. Yeah. Hi. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi. My name's Karen. I'm calling from Chicago. Hey, Karen from Chicago. You have a question for Reverend Debbie? Yes. Yes, um, I have a project that I'm working on until December, and I'm just wondering if you see something else coming up for me work-wise after that, after that project ends. Of course. Do you oh, think that's okay. the end of the rainbow? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, maybe a little bit. <laughs> this is just step one, getting you where you're going. It's like a jigsaw puzzle that each step is taking you to another level of understanding and there's people that are being put into place do you understand that yes yes and this is just the beginning of it this is just the beginning of that and you're going to see towards november um what the next step is it's like spirit okay. putting it Together for you. It's not what you have to do to make it happen. It's divine right timing. Okay. Love that. Okay. Yeah, and There's honey, I would tell you to. Does mm-hmm. somebody here in spirit give me the name Sarah? Oh. Um, feel... That was somebody my, on the um, plane. 
um, they, my mother and my sister used to play a game named Sarah. Hi, hi, Sarah or something. <laughs> yeah, but I, I don't even know who was Sarah, but they always used to play some type of game about Sarah. <laughs> yeah. And they're in spirit? Uh, no, I think it was just like an imaginary friend or something. But, oh, okay. Yeah. So. But I, I don't know anybody named Sarah Can remember that I know now. Well, what's funny is there's somebody by the name of Spirit, or Spirit, I'm sorry, someone by the name of Sarah that is going to help you having to do with your business. And... Um, the next three or four months, they're going to be very prevalent in your life, and you'll understand where you're going from there. I feel she's like one of the greatest cheerleaders you could ask for in your life, and she's going to help you with your career. Oh, okay. So God bless you. How wonderful. Wow. wow. That's thing. good Sounds stuff, good. honey. Yeah. Thank you. You know, keep yeah, in mind, uh, uh, yeah, I feel like you're kind of worried about the parade of the unimaginables. Do you know what I mean? And so you're kind of worrying about all this stuff, and you really shouldn't be. So, you know, if you and I drive in the car in Chicago or drive anywhere in Illinois, you know, at night you can only see a very short distance up in front of you with the headlights on. But by the time we get there, we know the, our destination's there. But, you know, driving along slow a little piece at a time, all this is going to fall into place for you. So. Don't pre-worry about December or New Year's or anything like that. I just feel like it's really going to come together for you. And like she mentioned, I mean, you know, how do you come up with the name Sarah, right? And it's a game your right. mom and sister played. So exactly. to me, that's huge that Spirit's watching over you, you know. And when that Sarah shows up, could be a headhunter, could be somebody in HR, you never know. And they're going to take care of you on that project part. Make sense? Makes sense. Makes sense. Awesome. Thank yeah, reach so out to us, honey. We'll we'll send you any information you need. It's info at jimmymachealing dot com. And tonight, of course, I'm going to send out all Reverend Debbie's information as well, so you could call or email and go deeper on a on a personal reading. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Sounds good. All Thank right. you so much. Thanks for listening. Thank Thanks for calling in. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, honey. Thank you. Bye bye. You bet. Bye bye. Eight one eight is our next caller. Hi, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, this is Carolyn. I'm calling from California. Hey, Ka- yeah, Carolyn, how are you tonight? Hi, I'm doing fine. How are both of you doing? Well, we're doing yeah. great. We're dried out, dried out from all this rain. Oh yeah. And Jimmy, yeah, they howling. Love it. What'd you say? And Jimmy's been howling at the moon tonight because we got a beautiful. That's, full that's moon. a fact. <laughs> <laughs> That's beautiful. You have, a, you have a question, Carolyn, for Reverend Debbie? Yes, yes I do. I wanted to know if uh, she can pick up anything about a relationship for me in the near future. An uh, invisible husband or a real one? I want a real one. Is it yeah. Well, they, they're in route. And um, there's something that you're finishing up energetically, okay. and okay. there's getting you to clean the plate before you get in a relationship. Because when you get in a relationship, your head's in the clouds. You're going to forget <laughs> about everything else, and you're just going to be focused on love. And I feel like <laughs> coming your way is going to be really, really good for you. Very sweet, very understanding, and um, I feel that he's going to be very attentive to helping you with whatever you need done. So that's oh, a good thing. That yeah, is very a good thing. Energy. Very down Thank to you. earth. So oh, rest up for him, Carolyn. <laughs> okay, I will. I need my rest. Okay. Thank you. Oh, you deserve it. Love that. Yeah. yeah. Always good yeah. everything you're invited to. To Carolyn, I tell all the beautiful women, you know, if your friend invites you to a barbecue or a Halloween party or whatever, you and I'd be sitting there going, I really don't want to go to that, but you got to go. You don't know that you're one introduction away from tall, dark, and oh my God, right? And oh, yes, yes. so, you know, you got to, you got to just, you got to go for it. You never know. And then you talk to them, you find out they're from New York, and you think, oh, that's, I don't want to spend a moment longer. And they go, but I'm moving to LA. <laughs> Mm. So, <laughs> right? Exciting. 
Yes. So, there you go. Oh, that's, that's what you want. That's what you want to look for, honey. And you never know. And I don't want to go. I say look for. I don't want to go out and look for anything. I want it all to come to me. You know. So yeah. you start working on it and fishing and going wild like we do. And next thing you know, spirit will have them show up at your door. It'll amaze you. So. And I definitely. Yeah. I'm like Debbie. It's coming sooner rather than later. Um, yeah. You know, certainly for the end of the year. Okay. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you awesome. both. You're welcome. We're, we appreciate you listening all the time, honey, and calling in. It's awesome. We appreciate it. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Excellent. Bye-bye. Have a great night, honey. Bye-bye. 267 is our next caller. Hi, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, my name is Donna. Thanks for taking my call, and I'm calling from Pennsylvania. Oh, my Hi, Donna. Dad. Thanks for calling in tonight. Yeah, you have a question for Reverend Debbie? Uh, yes. Um, I was in a relationship a while ago, and we had went our separate separate ways. Um, it was basically me that went my separate way. Um, well, and he he had um, went to Turkey to see his mom for a while, about a month there, and he had just called me. What I, what I wanted to know is, um, do you see anything happening with us, or do you see if he he has someone else over there, or? No, his mind isn't on finding another relationship. That's not where his heart is or his mind. And I feel like karmically he's finishing things with the family. Uh, Maybe he has a karmic or soul agreement with someone in the family and he's happening to be over there to finish whatever it has to do with. And um, I'm just seeing his mother issues with the mother, so I don't know. Oh, she's already sick. Pardon? She supposedly she's very very sick. Yeah, yeah, she is. But I'm I don't you know they didn't invite me to I call it picking pockets. They didn't invite me into their space to pick their pocket. So I try oh, to yes. honor people's space. But you know he didn't run into Turkey to get away from you. He just had his sole agreement to complete with his mother. So that's a good thing when a man is honorable to be there for family. That's a really good trait. Oh, okay. So you don't see him there with anyone, anyone else, or is his heart still with me? His family. He's not there with any underlying anything. Just family. Oh, okay. Do you do you feel that his his heart is with me though? Like everything. Yeah. So now will you stop worrying? Okay. You need to stop worrying. You're setting yourself. Is he planning up. on? Is he planning on coming back on anytime soon, or what has he said to you? He said this this weekend. Um, I didn't, you know, reach out to him with nothing. I'm going to let him if decide. You you know, I didn't say well. You know, I didn't press the issue. I'm just yeah. going to leave like him. Him. Okay. And well, I mean, it's up. This. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of up to you, but as far as me, I'm speaking on behalf of men, you want to reach out to him if that's what you want. Otherwise, he's sitting there looking out the window at night, and so are you. Okay. So if you know he's going to be back in town on the weekend, then I'd reach out to him on the weekend and go, hey, what's up? Let's at least get coffee and get caught up and whatever, okay? So I'd encourage you to reach out. I I would not wait for him to make that first move. Okay. Well, he lives about 45 minutes away, and I said if he needed a ride from the airport, you know, give me a call. So I guess I kind of did. All right. Well, I mean, that's. Yeah, it's up to you and how comfortable you feel in doing that, honey. But I think if you're interested in a relationship, you need to be more proactive probably than that. So once you know he's in town, then I'd call him or text him again. In this day and age, it sure is easy to get a hold of people. And it, people will do whatever they want to do. Do you know what I mean? And so <clears throat> I don't care if it's 45 minutes away or four and a half hours. Uh, if they want to get with you, they're going to figure out a way. So uh, I'd follow up on it if I were you. Okay. All right. Well, thank you so much. Thanks for calling in, honey. We appreciate it. 
Hope you have a great night. A lot okay, of romance stuff. Yeah, a lot of romance stuff tonight, Deb. Yep. Man stuff. Yeah, romance stuff. Would you contribute it to full moon stuff or what? <laughs> yep. A lot blame of folks on, on the on the hunt. You just gonna blame it I, on the moon. I feel like I keep uh <clears throat> yeah, maybe it's full moon stuff too. I keep getting the feeling that hopefully October here for you and I and everybody is just gonna it feels like a tumbling lock. Like it's going to just open, you know, almost like opening of a safe or opening of some sort of lock. And I think October 1st on is going to be a whole lot better. What do you think? Well, Spirit told me that we are all going to see in October. They didn't give me a date. But they said that everything would open up and people would understand why they've been pushed in this direction. So I'm looking forward to seeing and knowing. I am too. That sounds cool. I've been getting a heavy feeling, a heavy good feeling about October. You know what I mean? So that's a plus. To know where we're going. Yeah. We know where we've been. Be nice to know where we're going, right? (laughs) Nine, nine, ten's our next caller. Hi, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, this is Pam, and I'm calling from the Carolinas. Hey, Pam. Are you dried out, honey? I am. We are. We're good. Thank God. Oh, good. Thank God. That's a good thing. You have a question for Reverend Debbie? Yes, and I'm going to be in alignment with everyone else, um, uh, wondering about relationships, anything coming up um, in the future. Of course. And um, there's a part of you that's disconnected. Okay, and I feel that there's healing that's taking place for you. And Spirit is wanting you to cut the cords on your old relationships. You know, sometimes we meet somebody and it reminds us of an old situation. We start throwing up a brick wall. We don't want to be tricked. And uh, and you don't want to be tricked again. So you think, oh, this looks just like that, and we start throwing up a wall. And Spirit says, no, they said, this is a new day. Everything is new and refined, and they're opening up new doors for new opportunities for you to trust the process and to move forward easy and effortlessly. And when you move out of the way, you're going to see the relationship come. Because there's a part of your heart that you've had shut down. Mm. And just know that these people are putting your life to try the flavors to see what you like. You know what I mean? In all relationships, everyone's different, and we learn different things. Guiding you, and uh, they'll bring you your bishat. You know, you haven't missed out on the true, true love that you're wanting. They're coming your way. And probably within the next six months, I feel that you'll know who it is. The door will open. So, God bless you. That's oh, pretty cool. You. Yeah, I love you. that. Yeah. Kitty cats doing okay, Pam? What's that? The Kitty cats are doing okay? Yes, everything's good here. Thank God. Yeah, we did a lot of praying, you and me, over the Carolinas, that's for sure. Yeah, we sure did. Gosh. Well, we're hopeful you're going to dry out, honey, and we want to help you in any way we can. You know that, so reach out anytime, definitely. And uh, I feel like that's the same thing about six months out. But it doesn't mean a lot of times it could end up, you know, we could shorten it by going out more often, that sort of thing. Uh, You never know. You could increase your odds by just going out. I can tell you what will happen if you just hang out with the cats every night. So (laughs) keep that in mind, right? Make sense? It's true, yes. Thank you. Yep. I love it. Thanks for calling in, honey. We appreciate you listening. Bunch of folks on the call. Uh, you got to press one to raise your hand. A lot of folks in listening mode right now. Just press the number one to raise your hand. You're going to want to not miss out on this with Reverend Debbie. And if you need a healing, I'll be glad to help you with that live on the air, too. You can just use your name, Freddie from Arizona, or whatever you want to do. We'll still pick up on all the vibrations of it. It's always vibrational, as you well know. So. You know, I want to press one right now to raise your hand. It'd be great. So 
International call. All right, we'll take you next. So we never know who that's going to be. Here we go. Hi, what's your name? Hi, my name is Tom. I'm calling from Sydney, Australia. Hey, Sydney, Australia. How are you tonight? Or today, I should say. It's the next day, right? Uh, yep, it is. This morning is good. How are you? Love that. How do you pronounce your name? Uh, Tron, T-R-O-N. Tron. T-R-O-N? Yes. Okay. And you have a question for uh, for Reverend Debbie? It's Tom, T-O-M. Yes, please. <clears throat> yes, please. I'm just wondering what the next step of my spiritual journey would be. Spiritual journey question there, uh, Reverend Debbie, is what he's wondering, all the way from across the pond in Australia. Well, as I open the door to spirit, um, I see you sitting at the crossroads. And... (laughs) And um, you haven't fully made up your mind um, what your option is. Do you understand? I feel that there's a lot of healing energy around you, um, that you're very open oh, to that. Definitely energy. healing, yep. Yeah, and, um, and I just see like six different teacher, healing teachers with you from Spirit, and they're waiting till you're ready. You know what I mean? And I feel that when you call on them, then they'll open that door and begin to work with you. And okay, that makes sense. You know, do you do do you do crystal bowls and energy work with sound? Not sound yet. No, just uh, energy in here. But I see that with you, I see that with you, and I feel that it will amplify things for you. And I also see crystals with you, and I see hands on with you. Energy. I see Reiki with you, and um, there's a higher frequency of another type of healing that Spirit will show you that they don't do on Earth, and then you'll be teaching the world, I guess. How nice is that? And I yeah, that would be awesome. Come a long way, a very long way, and there's a grandmother that had these gifts, and they were passed on to you. So, for many generations ago. So how nice. <laughs> How nice for you. Love that. That's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. What kind of healing are you doing now? Uh, Mainly hands-on. I'm looking at uh, potentially doing theta healing and, of course, my liquid fish. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Well, yeah, reach out, friend. That's awesome. Yeah. Are you getting our newsletter now? I am. Okay, fantastic. Yeah, and just send me a, a you know little note offline. I'll send you all kinds of things to read, watch, and listen to. It's all free, and um, gosh, we'll be glad to help you all we can. You know, we need uh, folks around the world to keep spreading the the word and help people out. So, makes sense. Absolutely. That makes sense. Thank Love you so that. much for your time. Yeah, absolutely. And just think of it all as. Um, you know, I, I studied with and sat at the feet of Richard Bartlett in Matrix Energetics, and he would tell you he'd always come out. A lot of times he'd be wearing a Batman outfit or a Superman outfit, and then the Batman outfit, there's a utility belt, and the utility belt has all these different things in it. So don't be hesitate. You know, don't hesitate at all to use my stuff, my liquid fish, some theta healing, Reiki, whatever comes to mind for that particular client that's before you, you know, that they may need. It might be a whole different process than, you know, me or you or Debbie. Uh, everybody, I think, is very customized. So keep up the good work. That's fantastic. We'll help you any way we can. You know, we have an online course, too, for basic and then advanced practitioners. So we'll send you information on that as well. It's in every newsletter, okay? Sounds good. Thanks again. Love it. Thank you. Thanks for calling in. We appreciate you listening to the show. What time is it there? Is it like noon there on a Wednesday? Uh, 11.30, almost noon. Oh, close enough. There you go. Yeah. yeah, fantastic. Keep us posted. We're glad you're listening to the show. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a great rest of the day over there. Wednesday. It'll be Wednesday afternoon before you know it, Deb. 
Isn't that funny? I love that. It always always blows my mind. <clears throat> That's so cool. Yep. 860 is uh, out of Connecticut. Connecticut. 860. Yep. Hi, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, this is Amla. Amla, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, honey. Thanks for asking. Doing okay tonight? You're in our time zone, so it's 930 there. My uh, cousin on Facebook, uh, one of her posts recently was, is 7.45 p.m. too early to go to bed asking for a friend. (laughs) Isn't that funny? Of course, she's a nurse, so I'm sure it's shift work and, you know, not our kind of shifting, but there you go. You have a question for Reverend Debbie? Yes, I do. Um, I was wondering, I've been going through a lot of shifts lately, um, surprise, surprise, with the summer and the eclipses and the everything in retrograde. But now moving forward, I'm just wondering if you find me um, in a committed relationship, partnership. Um, been a lot of soul soul search and reflection time. So um, I feel good. I really feel shiny and bright. So I'm wondering if you see me meeting a complimentary person. Well, there Hello? is. I'm sorry. The little dog in training thought they'd come and give you a pet psychic reading. Aye, aye, aye. Well, when I open the door to spirit, um, they're saying patience is a virtue. Yes. And you're ahead of yourself where I feel that you need to be still and know that spirit is putting everything in order okay. to benefit you and help you. Okay. Yeah, but you're you're wanting to be ten steps ahead, farther than where you are. And okay, it's not always that easy. Okay, yes. and I feel as you slow down, that then you'll get the domino effect where it'll all fall into place for you. And I feel then it's going to be a win-win situation for you. And okay. know your path. Know that you're already ahead of yourself, and just sit down and relax and enjoy the beautiful moon in the sky because spirit's doing the rest of the work for you. It's not what you have to do to make it happen. It's okay, just trusting. So be, trusting it. Okay. okay. Yeah. It's just, you it could be hard, though, because, you know, it just, it's kind of like I think of it as, like, I don't, I'm not, as crazy, you know, as aggressive as looking for a job, but at the same time, you know, like you can't meet people by just being at home. Well, actually you can with the internet and stuff like that, but that's not how I actually, that's not how I flow. So it's not like I'm going crazy and like every night I got to go out and meet people, none of that stuff. It's just, you know, I'm an intellect and I'm, I'm, you know, I'm spiritually, I'm an old soul. So it's, it's hard for me to meet people on that wavelength. I think there's right. the way spirit's talking with my frequency is just, it's just, it's, it's different. I, I know I am different than even when I go to spiritual groups and things of that nature. People haven't, people aren't on my wavelength a lot of the times and I find myself bored. They haven't caught up, you know, and it, and what sometimes can, they haven't caught up yet to the pages. Yeah. We're all pages, you know. And we can have yeah. friends, but they can't discuss everything with them because they're not evolved on that level of understanding. Right, right. You know? And I'm always a teacher. I'm always a teacher in the relationship, yeah. whether, whether it's Isn't romantic it or not. Yeah, it's just, it's a little bit like, oh, come on, when's it my time to be like, I want to have an equ- equ- equivalent, it's never going to be 50-50, but like, a bouncing off ideas type of relationship, right. you know, where you could really yeah. have some fun that way. Yeah. yeah so. yeah. Well, I don't it's know. coming. You know, it's kind of like being on the carousel, the horse carousel, where it's coming back around, and you think something's passed you by, and they're showing that it's coming back around, and I feel that you're going to be pleasantly surprised. Do and you feel this happening by my birthday? And my birthday's in December. <laughs> There's the curse. December birthday. <laughs> I'm a December birthday too. When's your and birthday? Nineteen. 
Oh, we're both Sagittarius. I'm a 16. Yeah. See, you're older than me. See there? Because your birthday's first. So allow spirit. And I always tell everybody we're older than Jesus because our birthday's first, too. I always tell people that. But, you know, we're just closing out. It's been really, really hard for the past six years, for some people the past ten years. And you're just coming out of that. And as you step into the new year, talk to your archangel. Ask okay. them to put everything in divine right order for the true love in your life and and for what you're wanting to manifest. And then okay. you'll see everything unfold for you. Okay. You know, because in spirit, your family's working on everything you need. They're helping to put it all, bring it all together. So okay. you really don't have to worry as much as you'd like to. But it's right. the way I'm looking. Right. Yeah. yeah. Kind of have to let go, let God kind of thing. You know, yeah. no micromanaging. Yeah. Yes. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then you'll Jimmy, see the do you have magic. any thoughts? No, oh, I definitely see you. Uh, when I ask, it isn't uh, Halloween. It's actually uh, by Thanksgiving. So definitely before your birthday, you might just be saying that offhandedly, but perhaps on some level you're picking up on it. So I definitely see somebody around the Thanksgiving mark. Um, Like I say to all the beautiful women, you got to accept every invitation. If you don't want to go out, your friends go, let's go out. You need to go out. And I don't care if it's, you know, I'm joking, but it can be drumming circle or a psychic fair art show. You never know. You know, you're one introduction away from who knows who, right? You want right, to stand right. up and we'll work on you real quick? Yeah, that would be great. Yeah. So face due north <laughs> and we'll rock yeah. some stuff out for you real quick. Okay. All right. And yep. we'll just say uh, that you're open and receptive to all the best life has to offer. We'll see if you go forward, back, or in between. Okay. It's already there. Oof. Yes. Yeah. I'm deserving yes. of all the best life has to offer. I am deserving of all the best. Okay, wonderful. Excellent. And I'm worthy of all the best life has to offer. I'm worthy of all the best. Okay, good. Excellent. You test out pretty darn good, honey, so you've done some work or at least have had some prayer work done for you. Um, We'll do men real quick, too. We've had so many women call in tonight on relationships. So if you all hear the replay... Uh, what I'm about to do is going to really, really help y'all. And if you have any questions, we've got a lot of folks on the call, but you need to press one if you want to raise your hand. Otherwise, as okay. my father said at my wedding reception, we're going to wind this thing down. How funny is that <laughs> for the show? So here we go. But for men, watch this. So we'll check out how you do, honey. So men and I love each other. See if you go forward, back, or in between. Okay. Going forward? Okay, awesome. And so just let me know if you have a wave or forward, back, or in between. Men and I trust each other. I am neutral. Okay, so we'll change that to yes for you and everybody on the call. Okay. It's going to pull you forward when it shifts. Yeah, it shifted. Excellent. Men and I respect each other. Men and I respect each other. Yeah, that's neutral. That's good. And we're going to change that to yes as well. Okay. I'll pull you forward when it comes in. I just changed it. Yeah. Love it. it. Men, men, men and I are in harmony with each other. Yeah, I'm, I'm forward. Excellent. Men and I are on the same page when we see eye to eye. Men and I are on the same page when we see eye to eye. Yep, that's forward. Excellent. And men and I prosper each other. Men and I prosper each other. Uh, I think I'm neutral. <laughs> yeah. So that's hidden to me. So it's not back as a big fat no, but it, it's definitely uh, in the hidden. So I'm going to change it to yes for you and everybody that ever hears the sound of my voice, as well as me and Reverend Debbie and everybody that's listening. Still want to be lined up with men. Yes. <laughs> Make okay. sense? So, and then finally, yeah, I would do, um, between men and me, our communications are filled with grace and ease. Between you and me, communications filled with grace and ease. 
on neutral again. Okay. Yeah, we'll change <laughs> that to yes for real quick, please. Got it. We're there. There you go. Makes sense, honey. So Thank you. I find, yeah, all the beautiful women that are, you know, crying on my couch every day or about, you know, I can't meet this man or whatever this fantasy thing is. You know, and I always say to them, too, just so you know, it's like, well, what are you offering, you know? Because they'll cry me a river about the last 10 horrible men and how bad they were. And it's like, well, wait a minute. What are you offering, you know? Uh, are yeah. you a great country line dancer, conversationalist? Are you deep? Are you going down the yellow brick road with us? Can you cut clean? Are you incredible in the bedroom? Uh, you make a great souffle. I mean, what, you know, you really need to take stock of what, Am I contributing to this, you know? And, and, I, and I go broader on that sense, which would be honorable, respectful, keep your word, you know, dreamy, yeah. show up, you know, not blowing a ton of dough on shopping therapy, you know what I'm saying? And so, yeah. you know, really kind of think about your top 10 attributes too. Um, well, yeah, I think sometimes I th- I just taking to inventory something. of that list. Yeah, taking yeah. inventory of that list that will show the universe, hey, this is parallel to what I want. And Sag is great. Reverend Debbie's a Sag. And, I, you know, kind of our joke is there's lazy Sag and hardworking Sag. And I'm pretty sure you're yep. hardworking Sag, too. Absolutely. And that's Reverend Debbie, too. Here. She's like, go, go, yep. going all the time, right? I love that. Yeah. Because guess what? At least you get stuff done, right? We yep. do. We do. We're love go-getters. It. Yeah. So go get I don't doubt it. Person. I can sense that. You're just talking to you, honey. That's a great attribute to have, okay? <laughs> I just think that, like, I just want to share this. It's just, like, because it's important for the givers of the relationship, too. It's, like, it, there's a saying out there, you know, givers need boundaries because greedy people just take all the time. And it's just, like, mm-hmm. it's so true. <laughs> it's so true. It's, like, talking about the attributes, like, I have so much to offer. And it's just, mm-hmm. like, I've been absorbed that my whole life. And now I'm not. I have the past relationship. I'm, like, mm-mm empowerment time i'm taking my power back so i right. just thought it was to share that it's really important to to be all of you and not be afraid to claim and ask for what you want as a woman ask for what Love you it. want from the man. yeah well that's why i say start with that list even if it's a top 10 list and you put it on your bathroom mirror here are my awesome attributes and what you're really saying to the universe and spirit is, hey, I want a man who has these types of awesome attributes, right? Absolutely. Because you got to be it in order to attract it. It's reflection yeah. all the way. Absolutely. Love it. We're so glad you called in tonight, honey. Thank you. Thanks for you're listening. Welcome. Have a Thank great you, night. Kevin, yeah. Very welcome. 714 is our next caller. Hi, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, my name is Charmaine. I'm from Philadelphia. Hey, Charmaine. You have a question for Reverend Debbie? I do have a question. I have a couple of questions, but I know I'm going to stick to one. Okay, one of my questions is I'm a very creative, loving, caring person, and I find myself when I get around females that I don't get the same response back. It's more of a jealousy issue, and and I'm trying not to put a wall up, but I feel though that I can help them. And so I'm just mm-hmm. trying to figure out, do I still stay among that circle and try to make something happen that can be positive? Or do I leave that group and find another group and find people who can accept me for who I am and not have to worry about judging or jealousy or anything like that? Well, one thing my teacher always taught me is don't invest in people because people will always disappoint you. Correct. Invest in God. Invest in God. And then you okay. don't get disappointed, you know? And yes, ma'am. The bad thing about women is women can be catty and they get jealous because they'll, you know, think, oh, my God, you've got it made. You know how people look inside other people's lives and they have their own perception. Yes. You know? And you're going through a lot of changes, and some of these people will go by the wayside. Some of them won't be able to be in your energy because your vibration is raising, and they're still on page two, and you're up on page 52. So yes. They're uncomfortable being with you. They want to learn from you, but they're not able to absorb the energy or the information at this time in their life. Sometimes yes. we let people go 
and they come back at a later time. You know. Okay. Okay, and and, and 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 only reason why I'm mentioning this because um, this circle of people, I you know, they, they there's an organization where I can reach some of the youth, and so that's right. why I feel though that I want to be there to be a part of that, but right. but then again, I don't I don't I don't want to put a wall up as well, and hinder yeah. myself from not growing. Well, you can also allow them to say God bless them and let them have their own thoughts and just be you and just be there for the children. Correct. Okay. And and, and that was my mindset that I really want to go and kind of just let them be them, but let me focus on the mission and the purpose, which is the youth, the children. Because you're really good at that. Yes, ma'am. You know, it's a shame if you cut that out because one or two people, you know, can't handle your vibration because it's so high. Yeah. You know? Okay. Okay. And I think, uh-huh. As they grow, as they change, then they'll become more open and then they'll be able to understand. Okay. All righty. I appreciate that. And then, and then one more thing. Do you see my grandparents, my grandmother, grandfather around me? Always. Okay. I used to, but it seems like I'm not getting that connection anymore. At least I think well, I don't get the connection. They're doing their perfect work, and they help you an awful lot. They're almost like your guardian angels. They're so busy. Okay. Okay, you know, good. All... Oh, yeah. Certainly. Okay. Appreciate and... that. Thank you. Uh-huh. Yeah, I love that, honey. Don't doubt us. <laughs> We're not doubting you. <laughs> <God bless you. laughs> Is that what they say? Yeah. Okay. Don't doubt us. We're not doubting you. Okay, good, good. Okay. Then I'm gonna keep on moving forward then. You definitely you definitely want to uh you know, carve what you can out of that group, honey. I don't get that you should leave it. You should definitely stay in it. But, you okay. know, if you're around a bunch of caddy women and you know, there's a dozen of them and two main yeah. you know, act all, you know, fussy around you, what do you care? You know, you gotta ignore all that and just realize you're there to help the kids and whatever else and that's fine and let it go at that you're never going to be in a group of you know a dozen or more people where you're you're not going to have somebody that isn't sideways or a whiner complainer or a taker just you know just the statistical odds of being in people of groups so yes you know what it's funny because yes yes it's it's been like this all my life but i thought eventually i get Mm -hmm. older you think it'll change well, I think they see your light and they see that you're dynamic and, you know, kind of my mentor and friend's joke would be, you know, half the people uh, don't want to hear about anything good you're doing and the other half are, when bad, are happy when bad stuff happens to you. So, yeah. you know, that's kind of what you're dealing with. And so okay. you just need to stay out of that. Don't worry about overachieving or making sure everybody in the whole room's happy. Never going to happen if you're there specifically to help children and help the group, that's it. Just do that because the rest of them aren't going to, you know, my mother would say they can scratch their mad place, right? <laughs> so, yes, sir. There you go. Okay, well, thank, yeah. you. thank you very much. Yeah, I'll... and I definitely, I pick up your grandmothers around you right now even for this call. So there you okay, go. Wonderful. That's very wonderful. cool. Love that. Thank you. And it's like they take turns, so I think you're doing pretty darn good, honey. Okay, awesome. Thank you very good. much. You're yes, welcome. Sir, Thanks for calling in tonight. We appreciate you listening. Oh, I appreciate y'all being available for us. You um, bet. Well, that's what we do, you know. I love it. And we live it seven days a week, 24 hours a day. Feels like 25 hours a day, Reverend Debbie. Yeah. <laughs> Anything yep. else you want to add, honey? We're going to wind this thing down. As my father, he, he, he's definitely well, here heard. tonight. I feel his presence, too. Gosh, you need to give me a message. I talk to you every day, and I never ask for anything. What's up? Good thing. Well, and now you want to start asking for something. <laughs> Live on the air. Brother, dad, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> well, as I open the door for spirit, your dad's got this book. Turn in the pages really, really quick. He can't find what he's looking for. You understand? Mm -hmm. And um, your brother is saying, don't pay him any attention. 
he's still sorting things out. Mm-hmm. And your brother says that by the month of November, you have to make a decision. And um, they're going to they're going to um, take you in a whole new direction in your life. And you have to pick and choose wisely is what your brother's saying. Mm-hmm. You have to pick and choose wisely. Love it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, God fantastic. bless Fantastic. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks for Thank being you. on the show tonight, honey. Yeah. Bye. Let folks know how to get a hold of you as well, even if it's on the replay. What's the best email and phone number? Uh, spiritualdeb at gmail.com. I'm on Facebook, uh, Wings of Grace Spiritual Center Church. And my number is 727-433-3896. Love it. Thanks for Thanks. being so steadfast in all this and helping us out and sure. really giving of yourself to spirit and all these folks calling in, you know, it's, it's a service, it's a duty. It's what we live and breathe and do. And so I'm, I'm thrilled to have yeah. you as, as part of it, honey. Thank you so much. You bet. So everybody reach out uh, when you can. It's info at Jimmy Uh If you email us, we'll send you all kinds of things to read, watch and listen to. There's video and audio and all kinds of cool things in that. You'll want to get on our newsletter, learn about myliquidfish.com, and to learn how to do that. We'll help you any way that we possibly can, and uh, we're thrilled of all the folks that are on the show tonight and appreciate it. Had a ton more people raising their hands, of course, but that's all the folks we had time for tonight. And uh, we love you guys, and thanks for listening. I want to thank everybody, and also uh, I really want to wish everybody the rest of your life will be the best of your life and to make progress every day. Thanks, everybody. Have a great night. Bye for now.